I was going to put music with this, and then I realized there's already music here. The sound of the birds. Lago de Chapal, Jalisco, Mexico. Hi friends, just going to be a short video for you today because I've been working on my taxes and haven't uh, taken the time to make a longer video. But a few weeks ago when I came home I sat down in front of the camera to talk about what happened and what was on my mind that day. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends, I'm angry. Not my first choice of words, but it'll have to do for YouTube. I just went to the bank to get some cash. Now for years, I would go to the HSBC here and get nine or 10,000 pesos at a time. And um, I don't need to do that as often anymore because a lot more places take credit and debit cards here at the north shore of Lake Chupala now. So we don't need to carry as much cash as we used to. Um, still pay the electric bill in cash at the OXO or the 7-Eleven. We still go to the telephone company and pay the telephone bill in cash and that includes our internet and um, uh, dish network bill. It's just one bill. But we pay those things in cash. Uh, we pay the maids and gardeners in cash every week. So we still need some cash, but if I go grocery shopping at Walmart, I use a debit card. And so we don't need as much cash as we used to need. And so I stopped using the HSBC bank across the street from Walmart um, just because I didn't need that much cash, and it was easy to just get it at Walmart when I was shopping there. Well, I was shopping at Walmart today, and I needed a little cash, so I went to the, there's a Citibank um, ATM there. There's also a Bankomer ATM there, and I uh, put my card in the Citibank one, and it was out of money. So I went across the street to the HSBC. Now, I haven't been there for a while, and... Um, I thought, well, what the heck, I'll just get 10,000 pesos like I always did here. It's kind of a habit there, and uh, that's what I did. Well, uh, there's a new thing on the ATM screen that I hadn't seen before since I hadn't been there for a while. If you live in a country uh, that's not where you make your money and you're always dealing with the exchange rates, it becomes second nature and part of daily life to pay attention to exchange rates. When I use my uh, debit card from Capital One, it's a Capital One 360 account, I use my debit card at Walmart, the exchange rate is always right on. It's like uh, two or three hundredths of a point less than the current exchange rate. And that can happen because exchange rates fluctuate throughout the day and, you know, in the course of two or three minutes, it could be a little bit different. I don't have a problem with that. Um, if I use the uh, Citibank or the Bankomer ATM at Walmart, and I've checked, like I said, it's just kind of a part of daily life, paying attention to the exchange rates. 
if you live in a country that's not where you're getting paid. So I get paid Social Security in the United States in dollars, and I take it out here in ATM through an ATM in pesos. Um, you get a decent, good exchange rate, the current rate um, at ATMs. So I went to the HSBC today. The seventh largest international bank in the world, you would think that you could trust them. Nope, here's the new thing. In the middle of the transaction, of course, they show you it's 63 pesos, which is $3.50 US dollars for the ATM fee. I'm using a Capital One um, debit card, so I'm taking funds out of an online checking account. And um, I don't have a problem with paying $3.50 for the ATM fee. The new thing is they show you the dollar amount that will come out of your account and the exchange rate. And it struck me because I thought, well, gee, I haven't looked at the exchange rate for about a week. Um, it must have really dropped. So it was 17.94. And it showed that it was going to take out and I've recalculated these things, so I'm giving you exact numbers to the penny. It took $557.41 plus the $3.50 for the ATM fee out of my account. Because I was a bit taken aback with the exchange rate as I sat in my car, now this is a minute later, I checked on my phone and the exchange rate was 19.08. So I've calculated this. At 17.94, HSBC is taking $557.41 out of my account. The exchange rate of 19.08 is $525.21 and the difference there is $32 and 19 cents plus the three dollars and fifty cents which gives the HSBC for me taking out five hundred and some dollars out of my account charged me thirty five dollars and sixty nine cents thirty five dollars and sixty nine cents if you live on the North Shore of Lake Chapala or anywhere else in Mexico or anywhere else in the world Stop using HSBC until they fix that. <laughs> Was that a little bit over the top? Did I tell you I used to be a drama teacher? But seriously, come on HSBC. When I was there, there were six people standing in line waiting to be scammed. $35 for an ATM fee? Stop ripping us off, HSBC. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.